everybody. Thanks for coming along for another uh, video flight with me. Uh, get Roger in the air. As you saw in the intro, this flight, the milestone for me, was probably the biggest turn that I've made. I've got uh, the wing tip to the horizon from basically from my eyesight point of view. Um, we'll show that. That was right at the end of the flight. Here I'm uh, running. Roger's engine died as he went to idle while he had the wing up, went, went over, and uh, gave him a full start, get him off in the air here. Done that a couple times. As I'm getting set up, here's David getting his wing. I think that's a spider in the air. And uh, we'll get him launched. As, he, as you saw, we all had uh, good winds for a reverse launch. And here, I'm going to take advantage of that as well. Don't get that too often inland. Get the wing up, turn around, check it out. Had a very, very slight crosswind. I think wanted to, for me to go a little bit right, so kind of adjusted and uh, get myself going down the road into the air. Buckle up in the seat for a nice evening flight. Before we get away, we gotta cruise the. We gotta buzz the tower. So most of the flight, most of the night was just a normal cross cross country flight like we do, or I'm, I'm following, or uh, sometimes leading the guys out different places. Here's Roger off to my left a little bit. We're out headed across some of the fields. This looks like some of the probably the cotton fields that were out there. Here's Roger getting down low, and I'm going to chase him a little bit. So after a little bit of exploring, sun was starting to get low. It's time to follow David and Roger back to our. Uh, Close to, closer to home, closer to our landing zone. Almost to our LZ, we got a nice open field here that uh, kind of our foot drag low flying place where we, uh, I guess we get to show off. Drive down alongside the road, give the cars a show. I think they're, we do it so often there, they're getting used to it. But uh, see, just flying into the sunset, beautiful sight. One of the last things I love to do is cruise down low along this strip of land by the water. But if you look at my face and my eyes, you'll see me blinking a lot. My mouth sealed shut. <laughs> lots and lots of gnats and probably mosquitoes out that particular night. Smacking me in the face and in the eyes. So I pretty quickly got up high and uh, got out of them. And it was at this point in the flight I realized, hey, the time's settling down. We had really nice air, so went ahead and uh, hit the throttle, climbed up to about 2,000 feet, had a nice view, lots of altitude in case I did anything wrong, and uh, decided to pull some harder turns than I typically would do. Um, and you can see here, start out slow and eventually get the wing tip to the horizon. And uh, so this is probably the most aggressive turns that I've done. I've gotten close to this before, but uh, it was good to get up there and get a feel for it. Taking small steps here. You can see in this first series of turns, I didn't quite get there, wasn't quite aggressive enough. Kind of looking at the video now, I realize I'm not really I am weight shifting with my legs and, and hips a little bit, but not really putting my full body into it. And uh, at least that's, that's what my novice eye is seeing. Uh, I'm realizing hey I should be a little more aggressive so give it a second go around and uh, this will be where I get the wing tip to the horizon at least from my eye my point of view 
And there she goes. From the camera, didn't quite make it, That's I guess. The but... <laughs> and no landing here. My uh, I stayed up in the air long enough. Had the camera on long enough. My battery ran out on my, on the uh, before I I got the landing in. So we'll just have to close this one out with some more. Uh, much shallower turns as I get down low. Everybody have a good one.